this game was trash. Like, offense, only people, in my opinion, showed up. Lamar, when he got his chance to actually throw the ball, his running, he was hitting the holes quick. He was doing a lot of the things the running backs were was not doing. Um, when he got a chance to throw, Andrews, Hollywood, Bateman, they phenomenal. They was doing a thing. The good. On the defense, defensive line, they held up the longest that they could. That was really about it. Bad. The DBs. Anthony Avery was good. Anthony Avery, he 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 balled out. He balled out more. He balled out a lot better than Marlon Humphrey, surprisingly. Anthony Avery had his bad game this year. Marlon had his bad game. Sucks it had to be against a rival, but he's had his bad game. So hopefully this is it for his bad game. Like, this is it. I don't want to see him play like this again. Can't stop a nosebleed. As he once said in, in his podcast with Ronnie Stanley, Cause he got cooked. The tackling on the defense. Oh my goodness. I never seen it this bad. Like I never seen our tackling this bad. Marcus Robinson said, yeah, we stole a lot of wins this year. If you really look at most of our wins, that is very true, Marcus. And it's about time we, we, we got on, you know. If you go back to the year um, where we had, what was like 14 and 2? The Browns gave us like that 40 pointer or something like that. Then after that, we got that owning. Then that's when we went on the street. So hopefully, we, we, we got something going on like this. This butt kicking is what we really needed. It seems like. The coaching got accustomed. The coaching got accustomed to Lamar doing his his, his Lamarvelous stuff. You know the uh, the comebacks, the sixty six yarder from Justin Tucker, and things like that. They just like got too accustomed to it. They says letting baby Zeus go is coming back to. I wouldn't say that day. That's pushing the limit. Nah, that's pushing. You got sixteen people on IR, so that that's not that's one person. Not having J.K., not having Gus, not having Marcus Peters, not having L.J. Ford. That right there, that's coming to hunt us. But it's just one game, as I stated. So the Bengals have beaten in the division. They beaten Pittsburgh. They have beating beat us. So they're two and zero. That still doesn't mean that they can win the division. We can still win the division. But for as our playoff picture, I me personally, I would like. To be that wild card, I want. I, I don't want to be one of them teams with just that number one seed in the AFC. You know, you go with the buy and all of that stuff. I don't. I didn't ever wanted that anyway. In my opinion, because we gotta, we gotta continue playing and keeping that groove. We gotta continue to keep that groove. This game, like I say, it was just her offensive line was just really offensive line was way beyond bad. They were literally terrible. Like they get what? Well, how many sacks did they give up again? It was like eight, five sacks, five sacks in one game. Like that's ridiculous. 
They was getting pushed. Run game couldn't even happen. Only running we had was Lamar with his 88 yards. In the trip out part, just on the running backs, Devontae Freeman had four carries for 14 yards. Le'Veon Bell, five carries for five yards. Baby Ricky Williams, two carries, 10 yards. Devontae Freeman, four carries, 14 yards. Baby Ricky Williams was hitting them holes when they was available. And they were not they were not available like that. Let level bell go. He don't got it no more. Baby Ricky more baby Ricky. Marcus with Bell. It seems like the plays that they call for Bell, they're weird. They're always on the outside, but it's like baby Ricky Williams played North and South. Bell, I think I only seen him do one North play, but it was always busted. This whole game, they literally got pumped. Like, if you really think about it, and you sit there and I'm looking. They let baby Rick Williams sit there the whole game. And the first half he had one carry. I know the dude can't block that good, but one carry. Then the second half, they give him one more carry. Where you giving Devontae Freeman he had four. Le'Veon Bell had five. And it's like, they know. It seems like Greg Roman knew, like, man, our offensive line is playing trash. They couldn't block. They couldn't do anything, really. Let me go to my ESPN right there. They literally could not do anything. And it's ridiculous. It's flat out ridiculous. But we needed this L. We needed this L. I wish it was against another team. But, man, then the inconsistency of Wink. Wink with his blitzing armor. I wish they had a stat. Some I wish they showed the stats of how many blitz they do on on these sites that break down the stats because he literally was blitzing our DBs all the time. I understand you do it like you mix it up, but it hasn't been creative. Like at first you're like, oh man, I didn't see that coming. But now it's just I expect it. If I expect, I know the off the uh the uh opponent is expecting it. And it's ridiculous. Team Remy said, I think we're going to have to think about our coordinators next year. I've been on point of saying Keith Williams and T. Martin offense coordinator defense coordinator they gotta do something cause weak inconsistency he has a habit of bringing our safeties down and blitzing and we have really we have two strong safeties we're playing two strong safeties we don't have no free safety it's literally two strong safeties we're playing. But man, we gotta make a trade. We gotta we gotta try to do something. We gotta try to do something. I hit up the Chiefs but like, hey. Honey Badger? <laughs> hey, 
He got a contract coming up. But man, we we need help. Offense offensive line, linebackers. We need some we need some help. Team Rammy, you're correct. Defense has no excuse other than Marcus Peters. And that makes me think, was Marcus Peters? I know they say Chuck Clark has the green dot, but was Marcus Peters mainly the one that was doing the, hey, check this out, check this out, do, 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 do. They said, I feel like Tyson should get more carries and we just keep blitzing getting us cooked over the top and on slant that was, it was just slant city i was calling it slant 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 and that's literally all the Bengals was doing chase literally had got all of his yards on slants chase Jamar Chase literally got 201 yards on all slants. It's like you're playing Madden. Either on the Xbox or the PlayStation. And you hit square or X. And you hit A or X. And you're blitzing everybody. And it's just one-on-one. No safety help. Just just slant. And that, that's gone. That's all you gotta do, just slant, and it's gone. And it's ridiculous. And Joe Burrow threw 416 yards. Literally all them yards came on slants. Can't make this stuff up, man. It's ridiculous. Remy, I I literally been I still don't have no answer. I it's like I said earlier, where I said, what was the game plan? And I can't think of no game plan. I don't know what was their game plan because I didn't see it. It's like, what did they do this entire, well, entire last week? What did they do for a game plan? And I feel we're right back for the offense coordinator, Greg Roman, is right back to what he used to do. If the run game is shut down, he's like, I don't know what to do. Lamar has proven he can throw the ball. Give him time. Offensive line was playing trash. But you see that Dev was going, Dev was doing good. Crochet had one good like game this year, then it is just like disappeared from him. I don't know like what's going. And Bateman is shining, Hollywood's shining, Andrew's doing a thing. Baby Ricky Williams, Tyson Williams, he when the whole was was there for the split sec, he was boom, it was. He was got it for them two carries he had, but they took the ball away from him. Mark said that's the best route to run on a team that can't tackle. Slants, yes. A team that can't tackle and a team that is blitzing all the time. And you're blitzing I seen one play, and I'm still trying to make sense of this. My dude Owe was out there, 
And everybody knows OA get double. Because he makes things happen. And instead of having him just pass rush, you make him go and cover. And you have Tavon Young pass rush? What? Like, what? Uh, Mike said, Harbaugh throws two games a year. This was the first of two. Oh, Mike, that is so true, Mike. I didn't even think about that. Even Hobbs didn't even know what, like, he was like, what is going on? I feel like, like some of us Raven fans, we knew the Bengals was a pretty good team coming in. But well, for as the coaches, I don't think they was like, this This Bengals team is pretty good. I don't think they believe that. Now, I know one thing that will surprise me. If Jamar Chase clowns Marlon Humphrey twice, then I would be shocked. Because this, this was Marlon Humphrey. And the only reason I'm giving Marlon Humphrey this little pass, because everybody's going to have their bad game. Avery had his bad game. He's been playing spectacular since. So, Marlon, this was your bad game. I'm expecting you to play spectacular. But now you've played Jamar Chase, you should have that feel for him now. Shut him down in week, what, 16, I think it was. Graham said, can't wait to hear the Ravens film study and to go over the play calls. Slants. That's all they're going to say for defense. Just slants. When we, after this bye week, when we play Minnesota, I'm expecting us that dude, Jefferson, whatever, whoever, slants. Because he's just going to be blissing. Wink is literally just going to continue blissing. That's all he's going to do. Bless our safeties. Bless our cornerbacks. Not bless the outside linebackers. No, no, no. Why bless them? Let's bless our DBs that weighs about 100, 200 pounds to these offensive linemen that weigh 300 and some pounds that can literally stop them with one arm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. When Justin Houston and Oway and even Bowser was literally getting there close. They was like second away. Getting there. Four man rush. Was doing good. Don't understand it. They say our defense slacking off track. Needs to shape up on the missed tackles. DB offensive line not protecting Lamar uh, better than they should. Yes. Offensive line literally. I cannot remember how. I think this is one of the, the games that they played very, very bad. Like, I remember the first game. I ain't tripping on that because... That's when Villanueva was playing. What was that? He was playing right tackle. And he got dusted in that Las, Las Vegas game. Other than that, he did pretty decent on the, after that. And, you know, Ronnie was still banged up. So, you know, Ronnie got the surgery and all of that. But, man... EDC going to have to make some moves. He, he He's going to, I believe he's going to be calling up a storm. He got to, he got to find out something. It's going to be a lot of activity in this bye week. It has to be. In order for them to tap out like that too. That was just ridiculous. Like they literally gave away 28 points in the second half. Defense. We got that one touchdown in the third quarter. 
And that was it. Never seen nothing like it. Mm -mm -mm. Never seen nothing like that. And they showed our defense was total like 18th or something like that. I can't even remember last time our defense played this bad. Offensive line, terrible. Hmm. But anyway, y'all, man, we'll see, y'all. We'll see. We gotta, we gotta fix this. We needed this L. Congratulations to the Bengals. You're now one in five against us. Lamar and the Ravens. They spent all that money on defense, and it, they came and did their thing. Now we gotta wait till like week sixteen to play them again. But it ain't over. Both our records five and two. And I believe that's our first home loss game this year. At UNT. I think that was the first home loss game, I believe. Yeah, it was. It was. So congratulations to the Bengals fans. Um, as far as my highlight video, I'm going to work on that a little bit today, but should might come out today. I'm still a little tired from doing other things today and yesterday. Um, but it will come out. Uh, yeah, everybody stay safe. Uh, wow. Mm, mm, mm. And before I before I end this, just a just a just a thought. It's funny how and it just came to my mind. In the off season they were saying the Browns is gonna win this division or it's gonna be Pittsburgh or the Ravens. And they had the Bengals at the bottom. And the Bengals right now is on the top. That is funny. That is funny. Browns have injuries. They don't, and we, and the Ravens literally have a reason to be losing with so many people on IR. But we don't make excuses. Offensive line played bad. DBs played bad. And that's what this game, coaching was terrible. And that's what it all comes down to. The next man up. And literally, the defense have been playing, to be honest, the defense has literally been playing bad ever since week one. They had that one good game against the Chargers last week. That's it. Slants. Marcus says slants. Yes. If I remember, that's why I named this title of my, of my thoughts. Bengals, I'm, I should put slants. Bengals way to victory. <laughs> Against the Ravens. Slants. That's crazy. Y'all have a good one. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Slants. <laughs> you can't make that stuff up, man. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. Oh, hold on. What did it say? A year said now we have to A year. I don't even pit. I don't even look at that. I don't even look at Stephen A, bro. Stephen A is so fake and I don't even pay attention to that man. <laughs>